Okay, good morning everybody. Actually, it's probably noon now. Um, <clears throat> the Lord woke me up and shortly after he woke me up this morning, he uh, asked me to get to work on a word and um, last, oh goodness, it's been a while. Um, every once in a while, you know, you'll be scrolling through Facebook and you see those memories. It'll bring up memories from the last, from that same day in previous years, right? So, um, he has been having me clean up my memories, like delete the things that were not honoring to him. And this morning he woke me up and shortly after that he told me I need to, um, share that with people so that they can go in and delete the things that are not honoring to him. We are a living sacrifice unto God. Our life is a testimony to Jesus Christ. And there are things in the past um, that we used to be involved in that are not honoring to him. And he says, when people look on your Facebook page, they see these things these things are tied to you. So naturally, they're going to think that's who you are. Okay, it's a an inaccurate representation of who you are now in Christ. And so he wants um he wants his children to clean up their pages. Um <clears throat> this does not just pertain to Facebook. I mean, any other website, um, things in your house that are not honoring to him. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, pictures of like, like drunken pictures that, that you would keep as memories, like get rid of them. They're not your life anymore. They're not who you are anymore. You know, and he's saying right now that it's not just your past, like the things that we post, we need to be aware if it's honoring to him or not. It is it portraying Jesus or is it portraying the world? Are we imitating the world or are we imitating Jesus? We need to clean house. We need to clean house. Everything in our life should be honoring and pleasing to Jesus. It should imitate Jesus. Um, you know, when, we're, when we are portraying ourselves as something, we need to be portraying ourselves of someone, sorry, of someone of the kingdom, not of the world. He gave me some verses. Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. We cannot be like living in the past. And, you know, there are things that we are holding on to in our house as memories, as mementos, nostalgia. These are things that um, if they're not honoring to God or if they tie you to, thank you, Jesus, if they, are, if they are tying you to something in the past that was not of him, but of the enemy, a lot of times there are spiritual ties to that object okay because you you may be holding on to this thing of the past of like what an ex or or you know something that you went through in your past and you know you've been through it but you're still holding on to this item and um there's a spirit attached to it and it may be the reason why you're still in bondage it may be the reason why you're still being afflicted 
It may be the reason why you're still having nightmares. It may be the reason why you're still depressed. It may be the reason why you still have anxiety. You know, it may be the reason why you're still in sickness. It may be the reason why your family is, um, is going through it. Okay. Because these things that are not honoring to God have spiritual ties to anything that is not of the Lord is of the devil. Okay. There is no middle ground here. There is nothing in the middle. There's nothing in the middle. Life is not just life. Life, Okay. Look, this is, this is the truth. We, a lot of times we see life in this little area here, right? And God is over here and Satan's over here. And then there are neutral things in life. Okay. That's how we see it. But the Lord said, that's not how it is. There is no neutral. Okay. It's like this. Life is composed of the things of the devil and the world or the things of Christ and the kingdom. There is no neutral. Okay. Um, so some of these items that we are holding on to, uh, that are in, that, that are tied us to the things of the past, some of these things we may need to get rid of. Okay. Ask the Holy Spirit what is appropriate to keep and what is appropriate to get rid of. Um, he will lead you. And you know, if you have a conviction in your heart about something, just do it, just do it because it may be the reason why you're in bondage. It may be the reason why you're suffering right now. You know, like it may not have any kind of, uh, natural tie in the physical to your suffering, right? But in the spiritual, things are all tied together. Okay. <clears throat> um, he also gave me Romans 12, 2. It says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, some of the things we post, we post the same thing as the world posts. You know, um, if it is not honoring to God, we shouldn't be posting it. I mean, I'm not saying like you can't post memory, you can't post like little things of what your child, cute things that your child did or, you know, what your day consisted of or whatever. That's fine. But I mean, when you're posting sexual things things about like oh horoscope things or things of um you know things that have people raising their middle finger lord the, the lord says someone out there needs to go and and delete the pictures out there of you raising your middle finger to the camera. Stop it. Stop it. Go delete that. That is not a good testimony to Jesus Christ. That's not. And, 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 and people need to stop doing this in real life. They need to stop doing this in real life. Okay. <clears throat> it's not a testimony to Jesus Christ. It's not who you are. Stop it. Um, delete the pictures. It's giving off a poor representation of Christ. Like when we are When we are claiming him, we are representing him. People don't want Christ when he looks like the rest of the world. What's the point? They can have the world. If Christ looks like the rest of the world, they can just stay in the world. What's the point? Stop looking like the rest of the world. Okay. Um, 2 Timothy 2.15 Do your best to present to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. 
there shouldn't be out there anything out there tied to us that makes us ashamed before God. If God would take a post that you posted on Facebook, whether it be recently or years in the past, <clears throat> and show it to you and hand it to you, are you going to be ashamed of it before him? That should be the gauge on whether or not you should get rid of it or not. If the Lord brings it to you and hands it to you, are you going to be ashamed that you posted it? Um, <clears throat> Lord, we love you. We love you. We want to present ourselves as living sacrifices to you. We want to be worthy to be called children of God. We want to represent you correctly. Lord, bring conviction to our hearts of the things that we need to change, the things that we need to get rid of. Lord, thank you so much for your correction because it leads to life. And, and uh, thank you so much for giving us life, Lord, because the world is living in death and destruction. And you have pulled us out of the world. And we thank you so much um, for having such grace upon us that you would call us your children. We give you all glory and honor and praise. And I pray over every single person who's listening to the sound of my voice right now. I pray that you bless them and put your favor upon them. Give them peace. Give them joy. I pray that you um, allow them to walk in your Holy Spirit. Let your spirit fall upon them. Direct them. Comfort them. Heal them. Guide them, Lord. Um, provide for them. Thank you for being our provider. You are, you are the only thing that we need. You are our sustenance, Lord. We give you all glory and honor and praise in the name of Jesus. Amen.